Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I share everything personal finance. I cover budgeting, saving and investing. If these topics of interest to you then please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into today's video. So today's video I will be sharing my February 2022 net worth update. I am super excited to share this update because there's been a bit of an increase. I haven't been doing monthly net worth updates for a while. I only started this year, so I'm always excited to see the change that is happening with my finances. So if you're not familiar what net worth is, net worth is literally your assets minus your liabilities. And the number that you get after that is your net worth. So in my tracker that you, can, you will be able to see on the screen shortly, I have listed out first what my um, liabilities are and then I list out my assets then I subtract the liabilities from my assets and then the number that is left is what my net worth is for the month of February 2022 so just to give you an idea of how I do my net worth I get the number um, for all of my accounts whatever it is on the last day of the month so on the last day of the month I record all of the numbers and that is what I'll be presenting to you today so even when for example like you see in my liabilities there's like 300 pounds on a credit card even though I cleared it that day at the time of taking my snapshot I hadn't cleared it so for me it's very important to stay true to myself and honest about my numbers so at the time when I was doing all of this I still hadn't cleared that balance so that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video and also by the time you'll be seeing this video it will be my one year anniversary since I started uh, YouTube I'm really excited about this I have learned quite a lot in the last year I know that I need to start putting in a little bit more of an effort here um, with respect to my YouTube but I'm slowly but surely learning and I've loved absolutely loved meeting so many people this uh, the financial community is an incredible one, especially for the smaller channels because you get to be relate to other people who are on the same journey as you and you know it's just it's an incredible community and I'm grateful to everybody that has been supportive of my channel since I started it so thank you everybody now let's get to my net worth update I'll start my screen record now so for the month of February I've listed here three credit cards and I only had a debt on one credit card so I had 300 pounds that I spent in the month of February that I had not cleared at the time I was taking a snapshot on the 28th of February then nothing for my other two credit cards then my mortgage for my main home I I owed 212 um, 90 I can never say these numbers 212,986 and 68. I mean, I can say these numbers, not that I can never, I can say these numbers. They just trip me up sometimes. Um, 212,906 and 68 pence left to pay on my mortgage. Then my second mortgage, this one doesn't really change because it's an interest only mortgage for my rental property. And you'll notice for January that I have this in red because I realized I had not included the interest accrued in the month of um, January so I made sure to change that so that it is accurate so in terms of my liabilities for the month of February I had 358,680 and 68 pence that I was owing I don't have any other debt and even though I have put 300 here I don't count this as a debt per se but I still like to be honest with my snapshots as and when I'm doing them if we move to my assets so what I own uh, we start off with my two properties my main home and my rental property so my main home hasn't changed in price it's still 392,000 my rental property also hasn't changed and to be honest I didn't bother to check because I'm not expecting to be much of a change there so 240,000 for my rental property so in total with respect to my houses this hasn't changed it's still 632,000 so we still you know above half a million with respect to my rental properties and my goal is to have a rental property more rental properties that are worth over a million pounds that is my goal 
for income to my short-term savings as well as my current account. So at the time of taking the snapshot, I had 1,900 in my current account. I had 7,205 pence in my emergency fund. I had 550 in my rental fund, rental emergency fund, because I'm saving up for that as well. I had 200 pounds in my travel funds because I did travel in the month of February. So I went and rated that fund. In my home maintenance fund, I had 750. So in total, so I had 10,605 which is a decrease of over 300 pounds because I did spend from my sinking funds if we go um, from my savings sorry if we go to my sinking funds I do have a lot of sinking funds so I just put them together as other savings so that is 1,660 and 98 pence so this is where you will find my uh, challenges you know the 52 week challenge 100 envelope challenge all of those challenges I included in there my car fund 500 pounds so no change gifts fund 125 no change there either subscriptions 150 again no change either so in total I had 2435 and 96 pence saved in my sinking funds and all of these sinking funds sit in my Monzo account if we move to my individual uh, savings account, so these are my investments. So Barclays, 13,757.91 with my Vanguard ISA, then with my Barclays, 1,150 and six pence. I don't fund two ISAs at the same time. I did transfer over um, the, the Vanguard on funds from my Barclays to Vanguard itself, and then I've just kept the one bond that I have in my Barclays ISA just there and I don't do anything with it. So in total uh, for my individual savings account I have £14,907.97 invested. If we go to my general investment accounts so with this um, my crowdfund so I did crowdfund for three companies so that's 325 no change um my coinbase this has been fluctuating obviously with what's been happening with the stock market 190 and 47 pence a total 435 and 64 pence i did send 15 pounds to this account in february so this is why there's also an increase plus the market as well equates this is another in general investment i have with my employer so 1435 there and then free trade again up and down with this one and i did add more money than any other general investment accounts and i at 233 and 11 pence at the time I took the snapshot. So in February, we reached 2,594 and 47 pence in my general investment accounts. Again, I want to, uh, I don't consider this as like my true investment. <laughs> I call it my play money. I kind of just playing around to see, you know, investing in single stocks. And I must say, Almost all of these investments are all in single stocks, except for my ISAs. So my ISAs are in funds. Then when it go to my retirement account, so I have two. One is the SIP that I manage myself, my pension with my uh, with Vanguard, ten thousand seven hundred fifty five and thirty three pence. Then with Legal and General, fourteen thousand seven hundred sixty eight and eighty five pence. I don't manage this one. So in total, that came to twenty five thousand five hundred twenty four and eighteen. Pence. So overall, with respect to my assets, I have £688,062.63. That is my assets. That's how much my assets are worth. So this is a snapshot from the 28th of February, and this is what it all looked like. So from the cash that I had, money that I've invested, my properties, all of that together came to £688,062.63, um, pence, which is a difference of £3,580.35 from January. So my net worth for the month of February is £329,381.95. Absolutely love, 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 love <laughs> the increase here. Sorry, actually, the, this monthly change is with respect to the net worth, um, not necessarily the uh, assets. The assets, it's looking like, I mean, about 3000 um, for the change as well. But yeah, so monthly change here is 3580 and 35 pence. Again, 
super duper happy i do have a couple of trackers so i'm tracking here my net worth then on the right hand side here i also have um for this one is for my mortgage and then this one is uh my emergency fund then this is tracking my investments so i kind of like having all of these visuals all over here but yes so my net worth for the month of february was $3,229,381.95. Pence. Whew, we can breathe. So far, looking at my accounts, uh, I'm filming this today on Sunday 6th of March. I can see already a change. And I think for the month of March, when I film this at the beginning of April, you'll be able to see that I have gone over 330, which is absolutely incredible. But again, we shall see because of the way the market is behaving, this might not happen, but I think it will based on the savings that I know I'm going to be adding to my accounts. Yeah, than the investments that I have in the stock market. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, how is your net worth doing? Do you do net worth tracking? Because in, you, know, you know, some people have negative net worth, but they are working to make it positive. And net worth is not the measure of your worth. It's just a financial snapshot. That's it. So it's kind of looking at all of your finances and giving you an idea of where you are, especially if you are trying to improve your finances for the better this is a great way to see where you are where you need to improve and all of that jazz so i hope you enjoyed this video again if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye